welcome back. We're gonna start moving down our body and talking about our hip. So there's a lot of different types of hip pain out there. And when someone comes in and talks about hip pain, what I think about initially is pain in the front of the hip or in the groin. There are other types of pain on the outside of the hip and we'll talk about them on another session. But let's say you have pain in the groin. That gives me an indication that something is going on in the, in the joint itself where the ball meets the socket. There can be types of pain there that's related to arthritis, it could be related to tissues pinching together, which we would call impingement, whether it's the bone rubbing up against the socket or the socket gets frayed. There's a lot of different pathologies that can go on there or even injuries that can go on there that can lead to hip pain. That doesn't mean you can't get it fixed. There are options out there and I wanna go through one that I want you to consider. So when we talked about posture and we talked about this upright posture and we said, what happens when your chest goes out, your shoulders go back, what happens at your pelvis is your pelvis starts to tip forward. When that happens, it decreases space for your hip joint. So that's something to consider for you when you are considering your options. Do you need surgery? Do you need injections? Do you need physical therapy? Do you need stretching? Look at your body position that can determine a lot and it can save you from some unnecessary procedures. So just recently I had a gentleman come from another state because he had pain right there in his hip. What we did with him was change the way he positioned his body and the way he breathed so that his ribs dropped down and his pelvis could go back into a neutral position. Then we helped him implement that into his walking pattern so he could walk pain free. So by the time he left, he could walk in a different way. It felt weird for him at first, but to the rest of us, he was walking heel toe and he could move and his hip joint worked just fine. So there was no pinching of tissues together when he was walking. This does take some time and it is possible, but someone who was scheduled for a hip replacement now has an option not to have that hip replacement if he can change the way his nervous system causes his muscles to contract around his hip joint, around his trunk. So please, before you just run off and get some type of procedure done that can't be reversed or even something invasive, consider what is my body position? Can I change it? Can I learn this breathing technique that I've been talking about for a while now? Are those options to you? If they are, check out some of these videos reach out to me if you need some personal one-on-one -on -one time, I'd love to help. But just remember, just because you have pain in your groin, pain in your hip joint, it doesn't mean you have to be cut open. Give some of the alternatives out there a try and you'll be amazed what your body can do to heal. I hope this helps. Please reach out to me, amy at paberinstitute.com or visit my website, paberinstitute.com. Thanks, bye.